Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Fax the order, log in and log out. Do you see? We got to follow this, right? Now, we have how many files over here? Can you count and tell me? One, two, three, four and five files are there, okay? We are recording this login for five times. Logout is recorded for five times. Do you see? Okay, then. So, what is the drawback over here? It is wasting our time first of all. Okay, every time we have to go on recording the same script. It is taking the space on our disk. Okay. And it is also taking out our effort. Then there is maintainability problem. Let me explain this maintainability problem. What exactly it means. Okay. Maintainability means, okay, in case the steps are changed. Currently, we are entering the agent name. We are entering the password. Let's say developer has introduced one additional step. We should also enter the agent ID. I mean, I'm making an assumption over here. In case the developer adds a new step into this login, that we got to also add the agent ID. Then what happens? I got to make changes in how many places? I have to change the script, right? Now, uh, the developer has changed the software. I have to change the script also. So, in how many places I have to change? In all the five places I have to change. This is a maintainability problem. One small change and then you got to change so many files. In case I forget any file, what happens? It starts giving me an error. Okay? So, these are the issues that are involved with this kind of programming. Now, let's see what is the solution. Don't you think it would be good if I do not record like this in every file. I record in a single file. Then, I use the same thing in all the remaining files. How about this? I am recording only once and then I am using it in all the remaining files. Your time is saved. Space is saved. Effort is saved. In case you got to do the modification, do it in this location. It will get affected to all of these. Correct? Okay, now let's see how to do it. Is this clear? The concept? Okay, yes. Now let's see how do we implement this thing. For this one, I will create one file. This is my file number one. We will create another file. It is file number 2. Alright. In the file number 1, I am going to um, record the login. In the file number 2, sorry, in the file number 1 again, the logout. In file 2, we will record open order. Means I want to test the open order. Then here I have to log in, I have to log out, but I don't record it here. I will try to import it from the file number 1. Do you see what I am doing? Okay. So, I am going to have the login and logout in one file. 
and then in the file too I will record open order and then I will call this login and logout. Same thing can be done with others also. Let's say if I want to fax the order in the file 3, I will simply call this login and logout here from the file 1. If I want to delete the order, I simply call again the login and the logout. Is it clear everybody? Don't you think this is an advantage? Yes. Okay. Now calling can be done in two ways. Okay, I can call in two ways. Let's see what are they. Now we will assume Neha has some very good QA materials. Okay, or let's say she has some very good QA books. Lavanya want to borrow. Okay, can you tell me what are the possible ways that she can borrow? Neha has the QA materials or let's say QA books. Okay. Now Lavanya wants to borrow. No Lavanya, we cannot email. Okay. These are books. The hard copy. Yes. There are two ways. Okay. One is she can take a photocopy of it. Okay. She can take the photocopy or whatever the Xerox you call it as. Right. Okay, she can Xerox, she can have, make the photocopy and she can have one copy with her. This is one and this is another. Other way is they both can share. Okay, whenever Lavanya wants the books, she is going to ask Neha. Neha will give her the books. She will read the books and she will return it back to Neha. This is like borrow or let's say we can share. Are these the two possible ways? Correct? Any doubts on this? Anybody? Okay, fine. So these are the two possible ways. Either Lavanya can make the copy of these QA materials. She can have her own copy or she can borrow the materials from Neha. Now tell me, you know, some answers over here. I'm going to ask you some questions. How many copies of books are there? In first case, in second case. How many copies? In first case? Exactly. Two copies. In second case? Very good. Only one copy is there. Okay? Which is with Neha. And what about the second one? Oh, sorry, the first one? Neha has one set of copy. Lavanya has one set of copy. Okay. Now coming to the permission. In first case, if Lavanya has to read these books, does she have to take a permission from Neha? In the first case, I am asking. In the first case, there is no need. Why? Because Lavanya is maintaining her own set of copies over here, books. To read these books, she need not call up Neha and ask, okay, see I have, you know, copied the uh, materials from you. Can I read that? Isn't it very silly? Why she has to ask it? She has it her, you know, on her own. She owns it now, okay. She can, you know, read it by her own without, you know, asking Neha. Correct? What about the second case? She has to ask because here she is borrowing the materials from her. Okay, every time she wants to borrow, she is going to ask the permission of Neha. Can I borrow the books? Then she will borrow, she will read again, return it back to her. Correct? Is it clear the first and second case, everybody? Okay, fine. Now, coming to the modification. Okay. Now, Lavanya has a habit of, you know, highlighting the important points in the books. Tell me, can she do it in the first case or can she do it in the second case? In the first case, can she do any modification? Yes, she can do it. Okay. If she want to highlight important points or, you know, if she want to write something there in those books, in the mid of the book, she can do it. It is her own book. Right. 
But what about the second case? No, Neha will not allow Lavanya to write whatever she wants in her books. She wanted to be very clean and neat. Okay, so here modification is not possible. Okay, now let's map this entire thing to our QTP. File number one is nothing like it is like Neha. Your books are nothing but your login and logout features. Okay, file two is Lavanya. Okay, who is going to borrow the login and logout in two ways, either by making a copy of it or either by sharing it. Okay, these are the two ways that file two can borrow login and logout from file one. All right. So the first method wherein it is going to maintain the copy, we call this method as call to copy. Any doubts? Clear? Second one, it is called as call to existing. And in this call to existing, file two will use this logout. And then after using it will return it back to the file 1. Means file 1 and 2 are sharing this logout. Clear everybody? Yes or no? See it is simple. The first one okay wherein Lavanya is you know taking the photocopy of the materials. This is called as call to copy. In second one you know wherein sharing is happening. This is called to existing. Here the books are being shared, but here the functionalities are being shared. Okay. Here Neha and Lavanya are sharing. Here file 1 and file 2 are sharing. That is it. Okay. Fine. Now here how many copies are there of the functionalities? Login and logout, how many copies are there? In first case, don't you think there are two copies? One is here, another is here. In second case, how many? One copy, which is in the file number one. Permission. Okay, here also we need to take the permission. File two has to take the permission of file one. In which case it has to take the permission? In the first case or second case? Second case. And that permission we call it as reusability permission. We have to make this logout as reusable if it has to be shared. Clear? What is it called? The permission here we call it as reusability. Okay? Yes, Rupa, it holds good for everything. Then, modification. Okay? In this case, when it is copy, means here it is own copy of login. Right? This is a login copy. If in the file 2 we want to make any modification, no problem. We can make it without affecting the login. Okay, here the modification can be done. What about this logout? This file 1 is not going to allow us modify this logout. It will not allow. Okay. Is this clear everybody? Any doubts? Shall we implement it using the QTP? Okay, I will just draw it again so that you know we can implement. I will prepare a design. File 1. Okay, we will do one thing. Instead of file 1, we will name it as Neha. Instead of file 2, we will name it as Lavanya. Okay. Then Lavanya has open order. Neha has login. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side 
Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.